Wake up. It's time to kickstart your day with Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration. Daily Dose of Inspiration. Good morning and welcome to this brand new day. This is Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration for Thursday, February 23rd, 2017. And as you wake up and you start this brand new day, Thank God for this day. Commit this day to Him. Use this day to bring glory and honor to our Lord. And use this day to share your faith with someone and encourage somebody. And while you're at it today, give God praise today. Because He is worthy of all of our praise. He is worthy of all of our worship. And He is worthy of all of our thanksgiving. Our scripture reading today is taken from the book of Philemon. And it's verses 10 through 17. Scripture says, I beseech thee for my son Onesimus, whom I have begotten in my bonds, which in time past was to thee unprofitable, but now profitable to thee and to me, whom I have sent again. Thou therefore receive him, that is, mine own bowels, whom I would have retained with me, that in thy steed he might be, he might have ministered unto me in the bonds of the gospel. But without thy mind would I do nothing, that thy benefit should not be as it were of necessity, but willingly. For perhaps he therefore departed for a season, that thou should receive him forever. Now as a servant, not now as a servant, but above a servant, a brother, beloved, specially to me, but how much more unto thee, both in the flesh and in the Lord. If thou count me therefore a partner, receive him as myself." Friends, we've been studying this book of the short letter of Philemon this week, and we've discovered some important things here that that uh, is going to help us when we're trying to live a life of love and live a life of forgiveness. As a quick review, Onesimus was a runaway slave from Colossae, the city of Colossae, where Philemon was living, and Paul had came across Onesimus uh, in Rome when Paul was in prison in Rome. And the distance between Colossae, which is in the southern part of modern-day Turkey, all the way to Rome is about 1,300 miles, a little more than 1,300 miles. So Onesimus ran away a great distance from his master. And Paul had came across him, and, and Onesimus had given his life to the Lord. Paul preached to him the gospel. Onesimus responded by becoming a Christian. And and Paul is, is now sending Onesimus back to his master Philemon. But as he's doing that, he's sending a letter along with him, a letter that is urging and pleading with Philemon to receive Onesimus as his brother. We'll look at a few verses here in a minute. But Paul, in his letter, as he's pleading his case now for Onesimus, is reminding Philemon of his love for, for others, his love for the saints, his faith in Jesus, his love for Jesus. And now Paul is saying, hey, you got an opportunity now to prove that love. He says in verse number 10, I beseech you, or in other words, I beg you, I beg you to, to or I encourage you for my son Onesimus, whom I've begotten in my bonds. That's verse number 10 which was in time past, was to thee unprofitable, but now is profitable unto thee and unto me. You know, an interesting side note to verse number 11 is the name Onesimus is translated as useful. And Paul is saying at one time he was unprofitable, he really wasn't useful to you, he was nothing more than a slave. But now he's, he's, he's your brother, he is your, your, your brother in, in Christ, and he is useful. Because he's no longer a slave, but your brother. And he goes on and is encouraging Philemon to receive him. To receive him as a brother. And now in verse number 17, Paul says, If thou count me therefore a partner, receive him as myself. Paul's taking it one step further and saying, If you count me as your partner, receive Onesimus as if you were receiving me. Friends, Paul's putting everything on the line for him, and we're going to see how deep Paul is willing to go for Onesimus tomorrow. But for today, it's what I want us to think about. Are you willing to forgive somebody that's done the unthinkable to you? 
Think about that. Are you willing to forgive somebody that's done something against you? Onesimus ran away from his from Philemon, and some scholars say that he may have stolen something as he ran away from Philemon. Now here he is with the Apostle Paul, heard the gospel message, received Christ as a Savior, and now Paul's saying, hey, you got to go back to Philemon. you got to go back to your master. Imagine the fear and the dread that's probably in Onesimus' mind right now because he knows as soon as he goes back there to Philemon that he's going to be imprisoned or he's going to be stoned or killed because of his running away, because of his stealing. But Paul is coming up and saying, Philemon, this is now your brother. He is my son in my bonds. Say, receive him as yourself, as myself. Receive him as you would me. Could you do that to somebody? That's what we're called to do by loving one another. Philemon has an opportunity to put that love and that faith that Paul had had commended him for to put it into action. Think about that as you go through this day. And remember, get into God's Word and allow God's Word to get into you. And share that Word with someone today. Have a blessed day. Mm -hmm.